If you'd like to see how I created this lovely canvas artwork as a retirement gift, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I'm going to be making a black and white canvas. This is going to be a retirement gift for um, 35 years of working. Um, this individual has been very dedicated and a very hard worker. I've worked with her over uh, many, many years and she's always been very hard, very stern, um, just a, a great person. And she deserves to have a nice gift. She inquired about a painting before and I said, why not just make her one? Since we're gonna throw her a surprise retirement party. It's gonna be black and white. Her basement is being redone and she told me the colors are gonna be black and white. So that's what I'm going to use. Then I'll use, I'll use some silver and some black glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and get started because um, this is gonna be like kind of last minute. Okay, so first thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt on some of this black acrylic paint. And this is just some paint that I purchased from Walmart. Um, it's about 54 cents at my local Walmart. And I'm gonna take my little Dollar Tree brush, which I think I need to invest in some better brushes because I see like brush lines and I want to have a nice, even, flat look. So I'm just gonna brush this paint right in. Be sure to make sure that you're painting all the way to the edge and that you can paint along the edges so you don't have any of the white showing from the canvas so that when you hang it up on the wall and you look at it from an angle, you won't still have that white there. So just go ahead and be sure to hit those corners and the sides. So I'm just kind of creating these little zigzags, not exactly zigzags, but I'm just not going down a straight on one side and straight on the other. I don't want to have that harsh line of demarcation anyway. And I'm just trying to see if it makes a difference in the background with the paint being a little jagged in the middle. So that's just something that I'm doing. You can just go your um, even way on both sides if you'd like to. Now I'm adding the white paint to the canvas. Now I'm just gonna spread the paint on to the canvas. Make sure I have a nice amount here so it doesn't seem like it's a little dry. Okay, so I'm just making sure I hit the corners and I just want to make the paint nice and even. Pretty much doing the same thing that I did for the other side.
So I'm going over this side again with more black because I just felt like it looked ashy. And I wanted it to have a fuller look. I didn't want it to have a dark charcoal look. I wanted it to be a nice jet black look. So I purchased this crushed glass from Michaels. I didn't like how it kind of looks like oatmeal. So because fall time is coming up, they have these little off-white colors, which I'm not really digging. So I decided to add some white paint to it. And I just wanted it to look um, more silvery, like actual crushed glass should look. So I added some glitter. And I'm just kind of stirring it up, and it looks a lot better to me already. Um, I don't know if you could tell the difference or not, but just to show you the difference, one looks like oatmeal and one looks like crushed glass. I'm using this Tri Art Liquid Glass. This is like something to me that's better than resin. It's like a resin, but you don't have to have that harsh smell. You don't have to mix it with anything also. So I'm just going to add that there before I add on my crushed glass. I'm taking my gloved hand and I'm just kind of smearing it more in the middle so there's like no space because I don't like to have spaces between where my crushed glass and glitter goes. And I'm just kind of smoothing it over on the sides um, just so it can just have like some little effect there. Now this is my favorite part. I am adding on my crushed glass. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this portion of the video. Now if you don't have crushed glass, there are alternatives. I have used um, the rocks from the Dollar Tree, the decorative rocks, and I've painted them different colors. I've added glitter to them. They're just a little bigger than this. So you could add crushed glass and rocks, or you could just do glitter. It's completely up to you. Now, once I'm finished adding all of my crushed glass onto the canvas, I just kind of gently take my gloved hand and I just kind of pat it down. Now what I'm doing, I'm going to take this black glitter and add it to the white side. I won't be adding any to the black side of the painted canvas because it's already dark and it won't really show up. I'm gonna put a little bit in the middle and I just like the way that black glitter looks on that white paint over there, it's very pretty. Now I'm going to be using this silver glitter on the black side of the painted canvas so it can give it a nice little shine there. I'm going to add some to the middle as well. Let the glitter and the crush glass set for a few hours. Hopefully it dries quickly because I am going to the party tonight. So last minute I know yes. But I'm gonna have a fan up against this so we'll see what it does. Okay, so it has been about four hours. I had to let this sit and cure. I'm gonna go ahead and begin to brush it off, wrap this up and go to this retirement party. So the great thing about this, you can add as much as you want of glitter based on how sparkly you want it or how dull you want it. I'm going to do quite a bit of brushing so I can make sure that all of the fall off that's not going to stay onto the canvas falls off. Because once this is hung up on the wall, 
I don't want anything to come off. So I'm just gonna brush and brush and brush and then we'll reveal the final outcome. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this black and white canvas art painting. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I really do. And the colors are just very bold. Um, and this is exactly what she was talking about and how she described it to me when she told me that her basement was going to be remodeled and that she liked the paintings I'm doing and how she wanted to buy two of them. Um, so her basement is still being worked on. I have given it to her since this video and she is really, she was really, really thrilled. When I saw her at the retirement party, when I saw her at the retirement party um, that we threw for her, she said to me, because I had left it in the car, I had to bring so many things inside of the place, I left it in the car and she just happened to say, hey, did you ever start that painting I asked you about? And I said, oh, painting, I'll be right back. So I went to my car and I got it for her and she was just so amazed and so happy and so pleased. So it was a great gift. The gift was a big hit, absolutely. I can't wait to see how it looks in the basement once it's all finished and complete. Um, I'll have her send me a photo of it. But you guys, I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it or receive some cool ideas for it. Or if you know someone who has black and white decor in their home and they may need something on one of their walls and they're not exactly sure what to do. Also, I do have a whole playlist dedicated to canvas art um, paintings that I've done. So check those out as well. Subscribe if you want to. If not, thank you so much for watching this video and stopping by. Bye-bye.